Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey and today I'm excited to share with you some products that are in the Stampin' Up! catalog. I wanted to do kind of a basic, simple stamping video showing some of our products that you can sponge with. So we have three different sponge tools in the annual catalog. We have sponge brayers, they're $8 and you get two handles and four sponges. We have sponge daubers, they're $5 and you get five daubers, and they're stamping sponges. There's three sponges in there for $4. So you get, they're all a really great value for what you're getting. Um, and I just wanted to kind of show you basically how to use each of these products. Um, they're very simple to use and when you get something for such a great value and it's simple, it's great for a beginning stamper. So. We're just gonna get started here. Today I'm using the Stitched All Around Stamp Set with my sponging. And I'm gonna start with our sponge brayer on this card. So I have already taken an embossing folder. This is the Subtle Embossing Folder. And I just embossed this paper. Now you could do this on just a plain piece of paper too, but I like the little bit of texture that the Subtle gives it. Another way to get a little bit of texture is you can take a piece of paper and just crinkle it up and then unfold it and you can get a great texture that way if you don't have a die cutting machine that you can use with a embossing folder. So let me show you how to use the sponge brayer. I'm gonna use crumb cake and I'm just going to open my pad here and take my brayer and just rub it across the pad to get all the ink on there. And then I'm going to take it and I'm just going to rub it across my piece of paper that I have that has that little bit of texture on it. And this is a new sponge brayer so it's going to take a minute to get all that ink worked in there. And you can see, just go back and forth and you can see it kind of highlighting the different texture on there. And you can go every which way. There's really no right or wrong answer here. I like to kind of go every different direction to eliminate any harsh lines from the brayer. So you can see just some of that texture coming through there. All right, and I'm just gonna build a card here, really simple. I'm gonna still use that um, crumb cake Pad, and I'm going to stamp this enjoy your special day put all that together a little banner behind and look how simple and cute so fun using that sponge brayer so next I want to show you um, what to do with stamping sponges so these come three in a package, but we like to cut them in fourths. So we just take some snips or whatever scissors you've got and just cut that sponge right down the middle and then down the middle again on both sides. So you end up with four colors that you can get out of one sponge. So in your package, if you get three full sponges, that's 12 colors that you can use with these sponges. So. I'm just gonna take my sponge here and I'm using this new Rococo Rose color, which is very pretty. And I'm first I'm gonna just stamp my saying down. I'm gonna make just a little three by three card here. Very simple. Oh darling, you are fabulous. One of my favorite sayings. <laughs> and you're just gonna take your sponge and I hold it by this smaller end here and just kind of pat it right in the pad there until you get some ink on it. And then I'm going to take it and just go around the edge just like this. And it just gives a lot of interest to the edge of your card. It makes it so you, um, it's almost like giving it another layer without having another piece of paper there. And it just gives it some texture and just some interest there. It's so easy. And then I'm just gonna put that right on top of here. I'm gonna pop it up with some dimensionals. We all love dimensionals. Cute, simple card. Oh, darling, you are fabulous. Love it. So that's how to use the Stampin' Sponges. So the third sponge that I wanna show you is sponge daubers. Now, these are kinda cool. They come five in a package, and you can put them on your finger 
like this, and you can have a little more detailed um, sponging with it. So let me show you how to make a card using this. All right, I am going to start by stamping this stamp. It says, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. So cute. And I'm gonna stamp it in this Memento Tuxedo Black, just down on Whisper White. Okay. And then we're gonna let that dry for a minute. And then I'm gonna take Mango Melody and I'm just gonna, again, put my finger right in that little dauber and hang on to it. Get some ink from Mango Melody on there. And I'm just gonna kind of get just that where it says sunshine right there. Just get that little detail, just like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my punch. This is the one and a half inch punch, inch circle punch. Punch that out. And then I'll build my card here. And again, this is a little three by three card. Three by three cards are great for beginners because you can just do little details and it all works out. So just like that. So if you know somebody who could benefit from a video like this, somebody that may be new to stamping and stamping up, make sure to share it with them. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.